We are so pleased and thrilled to have each one of you here this evening. It's been 40 years, June 11, 1978, since the King's Harvest Singers made their debut, so to speak, at the Logan County home. 1978 to 2018, we thought it was fitting that we ought to try to get them together. And some of us got our heads together and we thought to get them together and to get them to be serious <laughs> and not just goof around, if we wanted to hear how they could sing after 40 years, we better have some kind of a open to the public type of concert or they'd never take it serious and we wouldn't know what they could do. So you all are the guinea pigs to be here and see what happens after a group that sang together the originals, sang together basically two years, and then college, marriage, travel, careers, things started to split the group up, so to speak, but God always saw fit to provide additional people to step in and take over. So the King's Harvest Singers sang together for 32 years. And Many people were in that group. God blessed in many ways for many years, but the original group was really special because it seems as though God worked a miracle back in the little Bethel church over on 47 near West Mansfield back at that time that all but Joanne, everybody went to church there, and all but four of the original group was relatives. And at that time, we just happened to catch everybody in the right spirit or frame of mind that they wanted to be in a singing group. So it seemed like a God thing and a window that didn't last very long to keep those original 10 singers together, but it worked out and we had a joyful couple of years that was the springboard for 30 years beyond that. So we're thankful for all those years that the King's Harvest Singers ministered after the original group began to sort in and out. Some of our other members from later years are here, and we're glad for each one of them and their contribution over the years. And we're so glad for God's faithfulness that it seems as though he worked a miracle again 40 years later, because we have people coming for this event today from Oklahoma City, Detroit, Michigan, Atlanta, Georgia, and many places in Ohio, as well as Indiana, to be here together. And you know what it's like getting 12 or 14 busy, even adults, together to do something like this? It's not easy. But God worked it out, and the miracle, for example, was that one especially, Miss Denise over here, who came clear from Oklahoma City, Denise Kramer Beatty, she had a serious foot injury that kept her down for most of two months, including some hospital time and some real serious health concern. And up until four, three and a half, four days ago, she wasn't coming. Debbie Wiley Etherton, who is the daughter of Joanne and Don that helped found the group, she stepped up to get ready to take Denise's place, practiced the parts, got ready to be here, well, Denise called me and said, I can't come. I said, it's okay, we knew you couldn't, we want you to take care of yourself. She called me back a day later and says, I felt so bad when I decided I couldn't come, I'm coming. <laughs> so we said, praise the Lord, drive carefully. She drove 15, 16 hours by herself with a bad foot. She threatened to stick it out the window driving here. Drove by herself all that way with God's help to get her here safely to be in the group. And with all that happening, we couldn't say, Debbie, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> but because she's the daughter of the founders, <laughs> Debbie, you're stepping in for your dad. You're Don Wiley today, but you're going to sing and not run the sound equipment, okay? So you'll see one member up here singing that was a member later in the group, but not in the original 12 or 10. She helped in originally by holding up the cue card so we could have the words to sing from. Well, anyway, 
after 20, 38 years of not singing together, I allowed them two hours and a half today to practice. So the concert is a continuation of that practice session. <laughs> You're part of a glorified King's Harvest Singer practice 40 years too late. But with you here, I think they'll make an attempt to be really serious and do the best they can and, and sing out. And our friend Nate from here to church is doing the sound for us, and he's doing a good job. And we won't mention that the words to some of the songs are going to be on the back wall. If you don't know them, you have to turn around and look. <laughs> but we don't have to use cue cards that way. But we're really thankful that you became a part of this ministry sometime in the past or even tonight for the first time for some of you younger ones. We're going to have pretty quick a video of the group. And then I want the group to get up there as fast as they can, start moving up there at the end of the video. And when they, before they start singing, I'd like them to go ahead and introduce themselves and just a brief snippet of where you live and maybe what you're doing or anything you want to say about yourself instead of me trying to remember all 11 of them that's going to be up there. If they would say something, I'd appreciate that. And um, I think we got about everything covered. I asked brother-in-law Randy if he'd lead us in prayer before we start. So Randy, where are you? Would you come up and take the mic? And let's uh, have a word of prayer to start this. We even got the music teacher of at least one of our members here. Martha, sure glad you're here, wherever you're at. <laughs> Sam's got at least, he's got a really good critic here to check his singing tonight. <laughs> so again, each and every one of you, I hope we get to speak to you after the concert. We thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, they only got to practice two and a half hours out of 38 years. <laughs> Bear with them, and we'll see what they can do. Some of these songs, they only sung them one time, and they're going to sing them for you the second time. So we'll see what happens. Okay? Randy? I'm going to invite you to stand, please. Lord, what a joy to gather together. We just want to thank you. We love you, God. Lord, you are so good to us. You have blessed us through the years. Thank you now for this time together. Help us to worship you. Help us to have a good time doing it. And uh, Father, again, just thank you for your many blessings that you've blessed us with. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Great, but the labor 
Those are few, so God has provided the tools for me and you. dress years ago.
these, these go out. These are the best. You're all thinking it, so I'm going to say it. Who are all these old people? <laughs> The award might go to Mark and Stephanie for being the least changed of the neighbors. <laughs> really? Except our eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Those words are way back on the wall, and I don't have my, I do have my glasses, but I can see there. Please. <laughs> Start here. I'm Sam Kennedy. Uh, I started when I was in high school. Uh, you saw that young guy on there. I was about my son's age, Thomas, uh, at the time. Uh, 16, 17 years old, and uh, I'm a little older now. And uh, I'm really blessed to have uh, my, uh, most all my kids here and my wife, so happy to be here tonight. I couldn't believe it when I saw Sam. I, anyway, but, I, but it's great to be here with him. I'm Steve Kramer, and uh, I am uh, the senior pastor at Lebanon United Methodist Church now, and I've been a United Methodist pastor for 37 years. Uh, I was in seminary when the group started, and that's why I could only be in that part of the time. But I am uh, blessed by my wife, Emily, who is here. Where, where is she back there? There she is. <laughs> right back there. So um, at any rate, it's a joy to be back. Randy Pinarwood, and we reside in Detroit, up actually on the northeast side of Detroit, Michigan, where the weak are killed and eaten. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, uh, we, we spotted that t-shirt running around Detroit uh, early in our years there, back in 88, 89. We almost bought that shirt. I can't follow that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ted Case. I live right outside town. Got five grandkids I love and a wife I love. <laughs> Ray Erickson. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, with my wife Becky, who is over here on the on your right. Um, we were married five days when we went on that Washington trip that you saw there. So, <laughs> so uh, welcome, y'all. <laughs> I'm Mark Penorwood. I live down in West Mansfield, so this is home for for me. Um, I was just, I, I went to one year of Bible college after graduating from high school in 77, and then uh, the spring of 78, I come back from Bible college, and I had had an opportunity to be in a singing group, and uh, lo and behold, we come back home, we all started talking, and, and uh, one thing led to another, and we decided to do this singing group, and uh, it was from, it was, it was actually out of one of those um, one of those trips, we was on a bus, and Sam turned around and said to me, said, uh, Mark, how's your love life? And I said, well, it's pretty much non-existent. <laughs> and uh, I, was, I was trying to eke out farming still. And, uh, and so anyway, he said, I think I know a girl that would be, might, might go out with you. <laughs> And I says, okay, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> and so um, him and, and uh, Terry Miller, they were classmates and very good friends. And uh, I had met Terry before when I was in high school. And uh, she was a freshman and I was a senior. And um, so we went out our first date and that was all it took. <laughs> For me anyway, I, I, I don't know about her. but <laughs> So anyway... Um, Steve, seeing how the, how the singing group was so important to us, uh, Steve is my first cousin. But Steve was, um, he was in seminary and going to graduate and going to uh, get his, uh, um, what, do you, what, do you, what do you call it? Well, the license, what do they call it? Um, ordination. Or, or ordination. And so he hurried up and got that for Terry and I's wedding and, and uh, we was his first first wedding and uh, so that one was stuck now years kind of went by and I sang at some weddings but my track record is not as good as what Steve's is <laughs> we won't go any further than that but I started to mention 
I, I'm sorry for taking long, Denise, but oh, that's all right. <laughs> Rick, during his introduction, mentioned, and then Debbie chimed in, that she held those cards. Well, this is 1978. This is not, what is, what is this year, 2018? <laughs> anyway, we don't have the electronics that we have today, and so do you know what makes really, really good cue cards lined up on the front pew of a church? And it can be written large enough to make those. So Joanne would write down the music, put them on cue cards, and, well, they're about this big. Extra large, especially, is, comes at about that size. A nice white side to the box. So pizza boxes make really good cue cards. So I can remember that, using those a lot. It was, it was Gino's Pizza. Gino's Pizza. Well, um, it's great to be here. I've got uh, my wife and two sons and their wives and my two grandchildren here, too, so I'm blessed. Um, this is Denise. Uh, Denise, wait, hang on just a second. I forgot to introduce my family. Donna, raise your hand. That's my wife. Our, uh, my son. My son and his wife. My two grandkids live up in near Detroit, uh, near us, two miles away. And my daughter wanted to be here tonight, but she saw some big need of hers to travel Europe. So she's, she's over there. Uh, but anyway, so, yep, this is my family. And uh, Donna's folks are with us tonight. Go ahead. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm Denise Kramer Beatty uh, from Moore, Oklahoma. And um, it's good to be home. I grew up here. I lived here 28 years, taught at Ben Logan and uh, for a few years. And, and this was my family, you know. And uh, then I met my husband at Camp Union and married Ken Beatty. And uh, we went traveling. He was in the evangelistic field at that time. And we went traveling. And... Anyway, long story short, that's where I ended up in Oklahoma, and he couldn't be here with me this 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 time. <laughs> uh, we had a grandbaby, and uh, he used up all of his vacation time <laughs> for the grandbaby. <laughs> so I made the trip, and so glad I did. I'm Bonnie Kennedy. <clears throat> And I've got two little brothers in the group, <laughs> Mark and Randy. And so it's been fun to sing with them. Occasionally we did trios, but mm -hmm. not often enough. Um, I'm Rick's wife, and I'm thrilled to be here tonight. I hope you will be. <laughs> but uh, praise the Lord. Um, just very thankful. Very thankful. And we'll turn it over to Deb. I, Debbie Wiley Etherton, and uh, I think I was like 10, maybe, or 8 when the group started. And uh, uh, I just remember riding the bus a lot, and <laughs> and it didn't go to school. Um, I just went all over the place. Um, but um, I'm happy to step in and give support, and I really feel Denise could do, she could do it. I don't need to be up here. But um, I have my husband here, Jim, and our two daughters, Ashley and Shelby, and Shelby's due any time with our first grandchild. So uh, just hold off. Just hold on. <laughs> really? I'm Stephanie McLaughlin. I am Walt and Mary Kramer's daughter. They live in West Mansfield, Bell Fountain area. And um, my sister, Carolyn, is here. And um, my husband, Bruce, is actually from New York. Um, I married, I met him at, I visited Steve at the seminary, and I met my husband there. <laughs> He's also United Methodist pastor. We've been serving 35 years. We live in Canton, Ohio, and I have my son Nathan and his wife Madeline there. You guys can raise your hand. 
We have two other sons who weren't able to make it, but we're so glad to be here. And we also need to say our brother Barry is here and our dad won't. So nice to have them here too. Okay. That better? Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I'm the old one. <laughs> I mean, older than the other old ones. <laughs> and she's also standing, by the way. Yes. <laughs> I am standing. <laughs> this has been a joy to, to see, see these um, um, <laughs> members of our group that I haven't seen forever. And um, case in point, I mean, elderly, uh, I guess I'm not afraid to say I'm 72. And I'm going to have, via Shelby, my granddaughter, Debbie's daughter, my first great-grandchild pretty soon. And I'm excited about that. And then I would like to say that my uh, youngest daughter is here, Kathy with her husband, Larry, Kathy and Larry Middall, and their two daughters, Gracie and Emma. And might I say that, um, Kathy, I showed Ray Erickson a picture of Casey. That's her oldest boy. And said um, he's headed to Mount Vernon College because Ray and Becky both graduated from Mount Vernon College. And he looked at, uh, at this young man and said, now, who is this? I said, Casey, my, uh, my grandson. He said, now, which one's the mother? And I said, Kathy. Well, he was blown away because when Kathy was five, she was in Ray and Becky's wedding. <laughs> she about, you know. Mm. And now here she is having a son, Larry, Larry and Kathy having a son headed off to college. So it's my joy to be here, and I would say that we had hoped to, to sing some with soundtracks, but that did not work out. And I'm not fully prepared, but I'm going to play all the selections, and we hope we can stick together. And, uh, <laughs> and so we're going to have our second practice now, okay? <laughs> Really quickly, I, I was the first one that got to speak about my family, but I kind of messed it all up. So everybody else kind of reminded me that uh, Julie and I have six kids total. Uh -huh. And the three daughters are not here, and we've got three grandchildren. So, uh -huh. so we're just so blessed. And you were 18. No, yeah, oh, I was younger. He was 16. 16? Yeah. <laughs> the red skirts? I didn't wear a red skirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs>
Are you guys ready for this one? <laughs> Here we go.
if I didn't say anything, you would <laughs> If I didn't say anything, you wouldn't know, but that last course I played in the wrong key. <laughs> and then my brain caught on and then I hit the right key and I thought, well, that sounds awful. <laughs> so I went back to the right key and at least we uh, ended up. <laughs> oh my. Um, this song is, has always, it's, when we did it, it, was, it, it seemed easy. But now, with no time to really rehearse, this is a, this is a difficult and intricate song. It's, it's uh, one I wrote, and I, uh, Mark did the recitation, and I sang the opening. Well, my voice isn't what it used to be, and so I've asked Debbie when it goes high. I've asked Debbie, my daughter, to sing with me, and I'm just praying I can get through my part, and then hopefully it's... Um, uh, I wrote this one night, and I thought, uh, uh, no matter how much we would praise Almighty God, it wouldn't be enough. It just wouldn't be enough. The psalmist said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name.
Bible tries to teach us that God inhabits the praises of his people. And there's another reference in the Old Testament that says, if my people will not praise me, the very rocks of the earth would cry out. Amen. God wants to hear from you. God wants to hear from his people. Amen. He needs it, and we need it more than he does. We need to praise him. And that's what this is about. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're winging it, folks. <laughs> They've done this one in the back room. We haven't heard it. <laughs> well, I was trying to find that note earlier, and I'm not sure. You know, hold your mic. Would you hold your mic, please? Yeah. Slide this into a uh, horseshoe. We'll slide it. It's Ohio. We'll slide it into a horseshoe. Here. <laughs> Swing low. Swing low. Too low. Too low. Too low. Too low. <laughs> try, try again. <laughs> We're winging it. He's just challenging us to find harmony. That's that sounds high. Maybe right? a little high. high. Okay, okay we'll try it one more time. The same thing. Maybe I'm For to carry me home. Carry me home. Swing low. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me. Why don't you swing down cherry stuff and let me ride? Swing down cherry stuff and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord, come it easy. I've got a home on the other side. Swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it. Well, well, swing it, swing it, well, 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 well. When Ezekiel went down in the middle of the field, saw an angel working on a chariot wheel. Wasn't so particular about the chariot wheel. He just wanted to see how the chariot feel. Why don't you swing down cherry stuff and let me ride? Swing down cherry stuff and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Come and easy, I've got a home on the other side. Swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it. Well, well, swing it, swing it, swing it. Well, 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 swing it, swing it, swing it. Ezekiel went down and he got on board. That chariot went a bump and off down the road. Now, I live in Detroit, so I have to know a thing or two about how chariots are supposed to ride. Now, what he climbed into was what they call. Hey, what he climbed into is what he called the old jalopy chariots. Now those old jalopy chariots weren't really known for riding very smooth. But a few years later, they started cranking out chariots in Detroit, Michigan, and those chariots were really fine. I mean, they came equipped with a new chariot ride and a new chariot feel and a new chariot smell. Swing it, swing it, swing it. Yo went down, swing it. They got on board. That chariot went a jumping on down the road. Wasn't so particular about the bumping of the road. He just wanted to lay down his heavy load. Why don't you swing down chariot stop and let me ride? Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Come and easy. I've got a home on the other side. Swing down cherry stump and let me ride. Swing down cherry stump and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Come and easy. I've got a home on the other side. We put 
butcher did it, we still had fun. Oh. I don't think I could have swing it, swing it, swing it much longer. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my, that, that's hard to follow. That is hard to follow. Um, what a blessing. How many were praying for them? I was. <laughs>
if there ever were dreams that were lofty and noble, they were my dreams at the start. And the hopes for life's best, the hopes that I harbor down deep in my heart. But my dreams turn to ashes. Castles all crumble, my fortune turned to loss. So I wrapped it all in the rags of my life, and laid it at the This is our closing number. And we always, we always closed with the Invitational. We always did. Yeah.
will feed you with.